Once you have an assignment, you need to grade it. Canvas has a tool called the Speed Grader that really does live up to its name. The quickest way to get to the Speed Grader is to click the assignment in the To Do list on your home page. It tells me that there are students who need their assignments graded. The first person who needs their assignment graded is Raquel Corcoles. Since she used the text entry to do her assignment, you can see what she typed. You can give it a grade. This one's worth 10 points out of 10. And you can leave a comment for the student to read. If you want, you can attach files in the comments for students to download if you need to make longer comments. Make sure you click Submit or the student won't see your comment. You can use the left and right arrows here at the top of the screen to go from one student to the next. Or you can use this drop-down menu to see a list of students and whose submissions need grading. The orange dot means that it hasn't been graded yet. Let's look at Georges Remy's assignment. Georges uploaded a word processing document and you can see the preview of it here. You can annotate the document here and leave a comment. You forgot question two. Or you can use the highlighter, highlight part of the text, and make a comment. Good use of correct punctuation. You can have text annotation, or area annotation. Let's make an area annotation in red and say this should probably be right aligned. All of your annotations will be visible to students when they look at the grading for the assignment. And now give it a grade. You can give fractional points in Canvas. We'll say that this one is worth 8.5 out of 10. And again, if you want, you can leave comments with the assignment. When you finish grading, you can go back to the assignment, or you can go to the gradebook. Let's go to the gradebook and see what it looks like. We'll investigate the gradebook a bit more in another video.